I'm excited to share with you the belief code today. I've been waiting for this to come out and it's here and I'm working with it and I'm just blown away by it the ability it has to release these things that are holding you back, like whole belief systems. We pull them out, replace it with anything that's needed to re be replaced, and then you can move on manifesting the things you want without these blocks, without these subconscious things hanging out and like putting the brakes on your manifestations. So I think you're really going to enjoy this and see how simple the process is and to see if it's something that is for you to help you to move forward in your life. So enjoy. Hi everyone, we're gonna do a sample session of the belief code today. And uh, Keiko here has volunteered to have her session be recorded. So um, that's what we're gonna do. Now, we kind of have an idea of what the focus is. I don't even know if there's a belief a belief system attached to it, but we're going to find out because probably there is, right? Mm -hmm. If some, especially when there's something that you've kind of been mulling around for a while or feeling maybe some sorts of blocks, there's probably a belief there. It's not just one belief. We're looking for a whole system of beliefs. So we're going to like chop down this tree that's full of negative programs. If you th think of the tree, because since this is a sample session, I might as well explain this. If you think of a tree, at the top it has leaves and branches. Those are like negative programs that are born out of the trunk, right, which has limiting beliefs that come up through the roots, which have a faulty core belief, which are planted into the soul. With the soul, <laughs> soul. That's a nice slip there. The <laughs> um, and the soil, it, it would be like a faulty core identity, right? So you figure you've got the, the ground, the roots, the trunk, and all the beliefs. And it's something that builds on it. So we want to pull out the whole entire thing and pluck it out. Not just like a single belief here or a single belief there. Because when we can get to it all and we get down to that root or even into the soil, then that whole system will be gone. So that's what we're going to do. Um, and that just to mention that the faulty core identity, like that soil level, happens between the ages of, of you know, like when you're born to age seven. Because then we're just these little sponges. We're just soaking in everything around us. We haven't really made the connection that there's something more outside. Our consciousness hasn't expanded to that place yet. So some of these things, you have really most of these because this whole system, except for maybe the negative program is at the top, they're just kind of deep and implanted in there. And you may not really have any idea how they got there, but that's the process. So one builds on the other, and we'll see that as we go along. So, you ready to do this, Keiko? Yeah, I am. It'll be really interesting. And, and I'm going to share my screen too, so people can see like how this works. Um, so, what is it you want to work on? We can talk. We can actually put a few. I know what you really want to work on, but we can call up other energies around it too, because then we'll just muscle test to see. Okay. Uh, and you know what? Maybe let's just take a moment of silence now before we start talking about the focus. Just, you know, a moment of silence, just calling in the energy to be with us, support us. All right, cool. And I just want to make sure I can test here for Keiko. I have your permission. Of course. Yeah. Uh, so I'm testing as Keiko, Linda, and I'll be muscle testing the whole time. And I'm going to use these two fingers here because that's where I can get my truest form of a yes and a no. Uh, you'll notice me doing this and, you know, if it's strong, it's true, it's yes. And if it's weak, it's enough. All right. So now let's talk about the session focus. Okay. <laughs> so um, I, I'm an alpaca shepherdess and I've been working with animals as well as energy healing and health coaching. And so my business has been evolving a lot of different ways and it's been really fun and exciting. Um, but there's been one thing I've kind of had on my mind um, for a while, and it's like creating online courses, especially as it relates to um, like maybe animal care, intuitive animal care. And I, I've been kind of wondering, is it a timing thing where, you know, different pieces of the puzzle have to come together? Or are there beliefs that might be preventing me from like fully just diving in and creating it? So that's kind of what I wanted to explore today um, with you. 
Okay, so more along the line of um, the care for the animals, because you you also care for humans. <laughs> yes, 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 I do. I think right now where I'm kind of feeling the energy pull, and you know, it's it's been evolving. So, like since maybe 2008, I've had the farm. I've been taking care of my animals naturally, holistically, intuitively, and with a lot of energy work, and they're so healthy they're happy and I've been able to do a lot. And so I've wanted to share this yet I've hesitated on some level. And so I don't know if it's kind of a timing issue or whether there's some, you know, beliefs that I'm like, you know, am I just not good enough? Even though like on the surface level, I feel, I mean, like I see proof with my animals, you know, they're doing incredibly well. I'm able to shift their energy um, utilizing a lot of just natural common sense stuff and I save a lot of money. <laughs> so there's a lot of proof over the years and, you know, I've been doing it since 2008, but I've had a holistic vet prior since maybe 1996, I want to say. So I've been learning from him that whole time until my first dog passed. Um, and and then I've been learning on my own. And then, you know, I do human stuff, too, because everything I learn for the people, you know, I can apply to the animals as well. And a lot of times the animals reflect us. So it's kind of a combination. And I see a lot of things where, it, you know, if I'm working with the animal, you're always working with some aspect of the person. So it's really great that I have this skill. And I mean, it's taken me a long time to kind of put all these pieces together. So a lot of it, I do feel the timing, you know, it's kind of been going in circles over and over, but I'm learning more every time I go in this spiral. But I also don't want any beliefs, if I have any, um, to prevent me from going forward with it, because I do feel this is really important to share with others who love animals and want to care for them. Because at the end of the day, it's like, who loves your animal? Or yeah, it, you know, who loves your animals or your farm more than you, right. right? And so we do know what's best for them and what we want for them. And and so I really want to empower people too, because, you know, we second guess ourselves sometimes when the vet tells us one thing, we're like, but, but, but it doesn't quite feel right. <laughs> and yeah. at the end of the day, you know, as time goes on, a lot of times we are right. And I love my vets. I've had really great experiences and they're great to get, you know, different information from. But at the end of the day, we are the ones making the decisions for our animals and it has to stay aligned. So, yeah, I'm just kind of there's a lot going on. So. <laughs> OK. And, you know, I wanted to ask and you just brought that up pretty much at the end there, because a lot of what you do, too, is intuitive because you, you have this ability to communicate with animals. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you're with your course and i just we're just pulling up all the energy right mm -hmm. um speaking more detail about it but with your co course is there that that aspect too where you're going to help people to tap into their own ability to sense and know and feel i definitely want to do that for sure yes yes because okay. i mean and honestly it's more empowering them because they already know it's the validation and confirmation because yeah. I think we all know we really do. It's just that we second guess or doubt it. And that's kind yeah. of that does take some, you know, experience. But there are things that I think, you know, tools that we could probably use to um, validate, maybe. Okay. So really you're empowering them to know, you know what they already do know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. And beyond, because there's so much of the other, all, all the knowledge you have about how, you know, it, all the homeopathic knowledge you have, my God, uh, about how to treat animals and, and, you know, what to look for and all of that. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Now, so let's see. <laughs> feel like it, let's just see if there's something there because we know that's really what you want to focus on we don't need to bring up any other issues because you've done a lot of body code work and you know motion code so you know how this whole thing works which is nice mm -hmm. um, so let's just do it so we're going to ask um is there a belief system running that is preventing you from just diving in and doing this and getting this out to the world is there something there yeah okay so now the tricky part, we want to see what type of a belief it is. I know. 
the and and just so people can see like i'll just explain this before we go to because it might be boring for somebody so the belief code is made up of these seven different areas and they're connected to your chakra so divine crown chakra insight is the third eye um communication is the throat you have love right for the heart um power passion and survival right power solar plexus passion is that sacral chakra and survival is the root and i'm not going to teach chakras or anything like on this i'm just making that association that that's how this works um, so I'm just going like, to, and when you click through the subcategory, so say we go here, and I'm just going to pull up how there are these belief systems here, five different types, right? So we're going to see what this is for Keiko. And mm -hmm. who knows, some of these take a lot longer and go a lot deeper, and some of them are really quick and easy. So are we looking at a basic, a basic system? No? A split, a, a what is that? Parallel. That's like an involved one. Tangled <laughs> and partial. Parallel. Well, good Ooh. for you. It's going to bring up a lot of stuff here. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. <laughs> and in fact, we might just um, use a portion of it because what the, so the parallel belief system is not just one. It's there's there could be two or three working together. Oh, wow. What are you going to do? I've done a basic one with you before. Mm -hmm. So it's like doing mm -hmm. the basic one two or three times digging up so much stuff that could be, that is in the way there. So I'm happy. I'm actually happy about that because I want to see you get this product out to the world. Uh, <laughs> all right. So we know that we have a parallel. So with the parallel, we're going to have negative programs. Mm -hmm. Let me get my glasses on here so I can see when I'm typing. Okay. We're going to have negative programs, um, limiting beliefs, right? You have... A faulty core belief, we'll call it FQCB, and then we have faulty core identities. So, so, so we can explain to people because I keep forgetting that I'm actually videoing this so people could see what we're doing. <laughs> and, just want to learn it. Uh, and negative programs that would be like the leaves and the branches. There could be one to four beliefs in there, and then you go into the trunk where the limiting beliefs are, and there could be one to three of those. There's usually only one faulty core belief, although. In a tangled one, you could have two. <laughs> and there's usually only one, if not any, faulty core identity, that soil level. So since we have parallel, this is parallel, we're going to have two or three of these whole systems. So let's just ask, is there, um, are there two, three? Oh, three of them. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, so I think that you know, we'll probably... We'll probably end the recording after like the first. So people okay. get to know how belief code works. And then uh, we'll just continue the rest of it without recording it. Um, wow, this is going to be so it. interesting. <laughs> that's good to, to, do that, to do that. Like we'll just show the first part. Because really, I just want to get people to get an idea of what mm -hmm. it's like and how. Because you're seeing one whole system. Sometimes the things make sense. Like in body code, you'll get to stuff. You're like, I don't even know how that makes sense, but I, you know, I trust it. You know, as Dr. Bradley Nelson says, you know, I just work here. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> it takes me wherever it wants to go. Um, you'll get a good idea of how the whole thing works. This is just going to be a more involved session. So we'll just keep it to the first. <laughs> All right. So you ready to do that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> cool. So we're going to go. Let me get rid of these. Little notes here, back to the beginning of the belief code. Um, and so I'm just going to muscle test. We're going to find the, the areas. I'm going to keep going through it. And I probably won't do too much explaining. If you were to have a session, I would probably go into more detail with you. Or maybe I'll make more videos with more detail about all the different areas. But for right now, we just want to see how we pull up these beliefs, how we release anything associated to it, how we may replace beliefs, or just kind of organize the information so that there's no gaps and things where hiccups that can cause your energy to go off kilter. And well, maybe I'll explain that better later, but it's like a teaser. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here we go. We're going to, are we ready to start this session finding these beliefs? Yes. Okay. So are we looking at something to the right side? No, on the left side. So it's in the divine area. And I'm going to make notes here so that um, we see where they came from. And now we have, Subcategories. So are we looking to right side, left side, faith, God? So we're in the God area. Whoops, that's a B. God. And let's see if we find a belief in there. Um, 
negative statements. Okay, we look into section one, two, three, section three. And then Keiko, don't look at them. Okay, <laughs> won't look at it. I don't want to have, we don't want to influence the muscle testing. So we're That's looking true. at That's odd, true. odd even. Yeah, because you might be looking at it and thinking, oh, I think it's that one, right? And that might throw my, my testing off. Um, so odds, no, evens. Okay, so we have evens. Is it two, four, six? Oh, it's six and I stopped, but is it eight, 10? No, it's six. Okay. I like to continue just to make sure that I don't get some kind of weird kind of testing on it. So six, I, I need to be right. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Cause like, you don't want to be wrong on something like this when you're trying to help other people. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's interesting. Let's see what else you find that might correlate to that. I need to be right. Like that might back that up or explain, okay. it, you know, but yeah, totally makes sense so far. <laughs> yeah, it does. So let's let's see if there's another one. Is is there another um, another negative program? Yeah. Okay. So this time to the right. Nope. To the left. Divine communication power. Okay. So this is solar plexus, right? Mm -hmm. Now, uh, right side, left side. No, nope. right side. So is it change, effort, growth, strength? Okay. So. Let's find it. What's in strength? We'll go to the negative program. Yeah, I, won't, I won't look. <laughs> I won't look. I just, you just don't read them as all. You can look at it. Don't read them. Or don't, yeah. So anyway, uh, we look into section, uh, it's odd. No, it's even section two, four, six. Section six. All right. So there's only eight of them. Uh, is it something odd? Yeah, it's odd. Okay. So is it one, three, five, seven, five? I need to give myself up. Oh, that's interesting. Need to give myself up. Can you hmm. go a little deeper in that one? Because um, that that's really interesting. Th that one, there's something there. I can feel like it's deeper. Um, well, so let me ask, is there something more that we need to know about this one? I need to give up. So we don't need to know anything about it. I want to kind of know if it was like, did it originate from the cell? It originated from the cell. So suggestion would have been like in that one to seven year where you're just kind of absorbing stuff and it's not inherited. Do you think it's, I need to give myself up, meaning like if I commit to this service of doing this work that I'm kind of giving myself up or do you think it's more... Well, maybe uh, actually, what just popped in now is could it be? Um, could this make you have to kind of? So, if you have to give yourself up, you have to give like you have to totally like commit to everything about it. And so, would you would it be something that would mean like I'm be taken away from my farm if I'm doing yeah. this? And losing freedom, maybe losing freedom is kind of like the like I would lose my freedom if I fully commit, because there's okay. always a little bit, is, is that kind of coming up? Because well, what, what's the little bit, you always feel something a little bit of, into that? What were you going to say? Oh, it's, I always feel, okay, so one of the most important things for me is time freedom, because I have all these animals. And, and I guess, okay, so, okay, actually it's hitting something. I I can, I'm like feeling it. So when I commit, I want to be hundred percent committed and show up. So like, if I have a class and I'm committed to a group of people, it's like, I'm like, I can't ever let them down. Like I got to yeah. be there for them. Oh yeah. And, and then at the same time, I have a lot of my own responsibilities of my own family, my farm. And, you know, the farm is a pretty big responsibility because there's a lot of moving parts and it's not just the alpacas. We got, you know, <laughs> a lot more. Um, and then also making sure that I'm fully present for my husband, our son, my parents and friends. And, and I think it's just, I, I think maybe I'm just not super confident that I'm physically capable of putting all that commitment in it and thus um 
I always feel this need for extra like freedom of time so that in case something like my family needs me, I'm not overcommitted somewhere so that I need to give myself up. There's, there's a lot of energy behind that. Like I can feel it. <laughs> I can feel it. As you're describing that rolling goosebumps. So it totally yeah. resonates. So let's just, let's just clarify that. So is all that you explained, is that what this, I need to give myself up energy is all about? Yeah, totally. Totally. Okay. okay. Ooh, yeah, it's, it could be a lot. We're not even going to be releasing it right away, but I'm feeling so much moving around it. <laughs> okay. So um, is there a third negative program? Yeah. Okay. Let's find it. Love finding these things. Mm -hmm. okay. And so where are we going to find this one? Are we looking here for something on the right side? No, we're still on the left, left side. Divine communication power survival. Okay. Okay, survival, right side, left side, no. So it's on the right. Is it control, safety, it's worth, survival, worth. Okay, negative statements. All right, so are we looking in section one, two, three, four, five, six, five, section five. Okay, we got 10 of them. Uh, is it odds? No, it's evens. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eight. I'm invisible. Oh, that's interesting. It's interesting. I'm invisible. Okay. Is there another one? Yeah. Okay, let's find another one. The fourth one here. Uh, this time the right side. Okay. Insight, love, passion. <laughs> okay, so we have passion. And something here to the right, to the left. Is it choices, financial, sexuality? No, trust. All right. Looks like we could find something in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> These are so good. <laughs> section two, section three. So we're in section two. Okay, there's eight of them. I'm just going to go down the list. Is it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six? Uh, I am not trustworthy because blank. We got to fill in the blank. Oh, I think the physical. I think I feel a physical limitation. Okay. Because I have such fluctuating energy, which is something I've been working on. But then I did learn about human design, and my energy type is kind of like you know, I can have a lot of energy and get things done, but then it's not a fully sustainable type. So. Because you I, don't trust your energy level. Yeah. And I think it's just, you know, to be able to run a business where you can show up all the time. I think in my mind, at least it's like, you have to be able to show up steadily, you know, in good energy pretty much all the time. I mean, I guess maybe that's not always realistic. And that's part of the reason why I wanted to do something where I do have an online component and create a course where it's an evergreen, always available, um, and then be able to support that. Um, okay. So yeah, that's... So how would you how would you say it? Because I, I don't trust I'll have the energy available? Um, it, honestly, it's really because of fluctuating energy levels it's just like not a very stable consistent energy All i right. can have like yeah highs yeah yeah my energy levels are not consistent that's perfect okay all right good now we could just you know since there are people watching this how many animals are on your farm <laughs> i currently have oh my gosh let's see 16 alpacas three large guardian dogs that are like over 100 10 pounds or so i've got one little dog we got a handful of barn cats and you know strays that show up that we end up you know taking care of and <laughs> fixing and then yeah. we have um we now have five um beehives and we're planning to increase that we've got chickens ugh, a countless yeah. chickens and some guineas so <laughs> and plants <laughs> and you know it's interesting about being passionate and trust because you're passionate you want to teach people to do what you're able to do at your farm but at the same time, you don't trust you have the energy for this, right? <laughs> All right. 
Um, so that's just beliefs because there's always a way. Yes. We know that there's always a way. Okay. So, so that was at least for the first part of this parallel system that we're doing here. That was the negative program. So I'm going to look for limiting beliefs and there could be one to three of these, right? So we're going to put those in here. Um, so are there any limiting beliefs that are part of this belief system? Yes. Uh, right side. Okay. Is it insight? Love? No, we're in the passion area. Okay. Uh, something to the left. Left, yes. Right, left. So is it choices, financial, sexuality, trust, passion, trust? Okay. So uh, I will just say um, the limiting beliefs, they, they, they're they usually the why to the negative programs, right? Mm -hmm. So why do I need to be right? Why do I need to give myself up? Why am I invisible? Why am I not trustworthy? Because my energy levels are not consistent. Yeah. So the invisible thing, I don't know, maybe that ties into the energy levels as well. Mm, could be. Yeah. Okay. So we'll see. So we have passion trust. Now, what's the negative statement? Section mm -hmm. one. Section one. There's eight of those. Odds, yeah. Is it one, three, five, seven? One, three, five, seven. I don't trust people. Now, you may not think that, right? Because this is also. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Just the thought popped in because I know you. You're like, well, maybe you trust your animals more than people, right? Because you just <laughs> you communicate with animals so easily. Um, <laughs> That's so funny. That's interesting. We know that it's just pure love and from the heart, right? So, <laughs> all right. Well, that's interesting. That I don't trust. People. <laughs> I don't trust people. <laughs> I need to be right because I don't trust people. I need to. I need to give myself up. I don't trust people. I'm invisible. I'm not. I don't. Can't trust my. Not, well, I don't know. We'll see. Sometimes I make sense perfectly, and sometimes they're like, hmm, makes me think. All right. So let's go back to the beginning. We have another limiting belief. Yep. Uh, right side again. Insight. Oh. Okay. Mm. Insight. That's a different one. Yep. Third eye. Uh, left. No. Right. Left. No. Right. Boundaries. All right. That could. Uh, let's see what that ties into. I mean, we can easily formulate ideas about that. Let's see what it's about. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Based on what we already said, right? So is it, are we looking to section one? Yeah, two? No, we're in one. Okay. Uh, so we have nine of those. So is it an odd and even? Two, four, six, eight, six. I can't let other people be as they are. Hmm. Wow, those are really interesting. Well, yeah. Yeah. Huh. In, in that case, uh, well, maybe that, you know, there's supposed to be a limiting belief, right? Mm -hmm. Because we do want to teach them a new way of doing something, right? So that's a, kind of like not letting them be as there, but you don't want to have energy. Like I can't let them, like, like they don't want that to be the motivation. If in fact it's connected to something like that, but if that doesn't resonate, does it bring up anything? Can't let other people be as they are. Don't trust people. Well, there's some story there. Let's see. Maybe it has yeah, some. It's probably oh. deeper that I'm not super aware of. Yeah. And it could be part of. Go ahead. Ahead. Yeah. Cause like, um, yeah, I don't know. This will be interesting. Actually. I'm kind of curious to see what it, it feels like. It's a little bit deeper because on like the more like the surface level, you know, it's just like, if you saw how I raised my kiddo, <laughs> you just kind of like, you know, I, I wouldn't necessarily say I would agree with this, the belief that's coming up, but it, you know, it's like, it, it, it's, yeah, it could be a lot deeper. So I, I'm really curious to see what else we can dig up. Maybe I'll kind of tie in together. Yeah. Or it could be just holding a strong energy with, when someone does something that's so contrary to what you would think would be true and correct maybe that energy gets a little bit too stuck. Yeah. Huh. Like say, say an example for someone you, you mentioned of bringing up your kid. Well, what if you had people who didn't agree with how you were bringing up your kid? And then you have you to know, try. And I just kind of let them be. I, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, I'm very non-confrontational. 
Yeah, but not you. I'm just saying as an oh. example, like maybe oh. that something where you can't let someone be as they are because because they're wrong. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know yeah. let's, see, let's see if there's another one. But maybe the faulty core belief or if there's a faulty core identity might lead to that thing with the trust. Yeah, and yeah. They are. All right. Um, so let's just see if there's, because there could be another, there might not be, but there could be another limiting belief. Mm -hmm. So for this system, is there another limiting belief? Yeah, there is. Okay. So let's go back to the beginning. Let's put another one in here. Can't type today. <laughs> so, uh, another limiting core belief to do with this whole belief system. Mm -hmm. Uh, something on the left, yeah, divine communication. Okay. Oh, <laughs> these are so interesting. I'm so curious. <laughs> communication. Um, all right. So there's only four here. Something to say. Let's start on the left. Something on the left. Yes, on the right. No, so on the left. Authority. No, in expression. Okay. What do we get in here? Negative statements, four sections. One, two, three, four, no, three. Okay. And there's only eight. So is it odd? Yep. Is it uh, one, three, five, seven, seven? If I speak up, I'll be judged and punished. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I grew up in Japan. <laughs> I grew up in Japan. That statement pretty much says it all. Yep. There you go. Which would you know, make you have to be hard on yourself, right? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, well, okay. That ties in with, I don't trust people because I had authority figures, um, teachers <laughs> at school that, um, yeah, yeah. Don't trust that that's that's probably where it came from because there was a time when i you know was back there in japan that um if i said anything of anything that i believed or even anything a little creative or even just a little different from what was expected um you, you know you get judged and punished and I don't know if I cared so much about the judge part. I don't think I like getting punished for saying something that wouldn't technically hurt anybody, but it was just my opinion. Right. You know, like being judged, like, it's just like, sometimes you just go, okay, whatever. Like, I don't care. <laughs> but mm -hmm. being punished, that takes it to a whole new level. Um, and maybe that being punished for having an opinion. I mean, literally just having an opinion you could get punished for, um, depending on, you know, the authority figure. And there was a level of me not trusting, like, you know, the teachers and the authority figures at my school because yeah. of that. So and, those and two now, tie in. And now here you want to be the teacher. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so you get rid of that so you can be that teacher without all of that kind of stuff being mm -hmm. the associated teacher having included in there oh I see what okay that actually ties in that I can't I was like I was trying to figure out I can't let other people be as they are okay the reason okay that all ties in actually this is like when I was about 12 years old and I was in school so I've moved back and forth and so I've come to the U.S. and then I went back when I was about 12 years old and that teacher was like, if one person did something wrong or, okay, I'm not even going to say wrong. If one person in the classroom did something that the teacher didn't like, we all got punished. Ah. All of us. That's where that I can't let other people, you know, be as they are. That belief probably got sort of locked in because I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Why am I getting punished for somebody else's, you know, thing? And then I also wasn't allowed to say anything or I would get punished. So the distrust and then kind of being around other people, like if they can't, you know, you couldn't just let them 
do whatever because you were going to have to pay the price for it. So that all truly ties in with that classroom experience I had. It was pretty traumatic, actually, (laughs) because there was physical, you know, the teacher would hit us. Okay, yeah. Yeah. You know, also the um, I'm invisible because you might not have even been the cause of that, but yet here you are the result of it. You know, like they they went, didn't look at you. If we want to base it on that one, that type, that all that experience, but you know, some of these could have been born out of other things. It's just how it all t- comes in together into this whole system of belief. So we're going to pluck that whole thing out, as well as the other two parallel working with it. Yeah. So there's a lot here, and I'm I'm so happy that this is coming up for you, so we can get all of this out of the way. Oh, I know. I know. Because it has to do with the classroom. And so I'm sure that's why it's part of the. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. So let's see now. Uh, any other limiting beliefs? No, they usually aren't because it's like one to three of those there. Mm-hmm. So you got a full pack somewhere. You got the, all four <laughs> negative programs. Uh, so belief pro, uh, limiting beliefs. And now we'll ask, is there a, is there a faulty core belief? Yes. Okay, so let's go to the beginning. So where will we find this faulty core belief? Is it here to the right? No, to the left. Divine. Okay, we're testing with divine. Okay, and something here, right side, not left side, faith, God. Divine and God. Okay. God, you know, creator, higher power, whatever anybody wants to refer to God as. Okay, negative statements. Um we look into section one, two, three. No, we're in four. Okay, so there's 11 here. I'm just going to go down the list on this one. Is it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven? 10, 11. We've got number 11. I don't trust that God would let me have wealth. Wow, that's interesting. <laughs> Why not, God? <laughs> Well, hmm. it could go back to, I mean, who knows? We're just guessing. We're just, so, so people watching this, we're just speculating. Cake and I like to throw these things around. We've worked together for a long time. <laughs> um, so, you know, you, you are a healer. And, uh, you know, many, many times in other lifetimes, other realities, other dimensions, um, it wasn't okay to take money for helping people. So you're building a course, which is going to bring an income around something that, of course, will help them. But maybe there's a little bit of that, you know, maybe there's something in the past where you made a decision or it was taught to you in some way that you're not allowed to do that. Mm. So that breaks on as well. Um, I don't know. Does that does that resonate at all? Well, I mean, that would definitely prevent me from <laughs> moving forward. So, yeah, let's. <laughs> I'm glad it's coming up so we can clear it and replace yeah. it with something. Because, and, and the faulty core beliefs, you know, these things, they come from, they're the roots. They come from when you're young, you know. Well, actually, I guess any of these systems could be built. A, you can build one from when we're older, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, but it seems like what we're coming in here, especially bringing up the stuff around the, the, being a child in school and the way all of that happened. It seems like it, it was born out of something young. Mm-hmm. So we're going to see now if there's a faulty core identity. So because so another faulty core belief? No, because there's only one here, especially in the parallel thing. Now, is there a faulty core identity? There is. Okay. So something that was absorbed between birth and age seven. All right. So where's the faulty core identity? Right side? Nope. It's on the left. Is it divine? No. Communication? Power. Survival? Survival? No. Power. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. Power. Power. All right. And now are we on the left? We're on the left. Right side. No. So left side. Is it ability? Comparison. Expectation. Performance. Okay. Um, you know, I don't know if you're noticing me. I shouldn't even say it, but it keeps distracting me. For some reason, this thing keeps typing the word before I'm done with it. <laughs> I think it's like, don't make any mistakes, Linda. We're going to type it. Just follow me. Just follow me. Do this next <laughs> letter. I don't know where it came from. I must have hit some kind of setting. All right. So, because it doesn't normally do that. Power and performance. Let's go. We have a, oh, I'm sorry. Power and performance. Negative statements. All right. 
Are we looking at section one to section three? Section three? Okay. There's eight of those. I'm going down the list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five. It isn't acceptable for me to make mistakes. Okay. That's, yeah. Oh my gosh. I think, I think that comes from like when I came to the U S for the first time, I think I already told you about that. I was like six years old and like, I can't um, make any mistakes or all, everybody's going to think all Japanese people are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like six years old. It's like, hello. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. so, cool. So we got all the beliefs. They totally make sense, right? I need yeah. to be right. I need to give myself up. I'm invisible. I'm not trustworthy because of my energy levels. And that you can see how that could be borne out later on, right? Those yeah. things from this earlier stuff. Don't trust people. Can't let other people be as they are. If I speak up, I'll be judged and punished. Don't trust that God would let me have wealth. And it isn't acceptable for me to make mistakes. All right, good. So now what we're going to do... Um, well, I'll ask now, but I'll ask again before we actually pull them all. But is there anything else we need to know about this particular, this first part of this parallel belief system? Uh, anything else we need to know about this? Anything else? No. So there's nothing else we need to know about it. And I'll just see if there's anything we need to know about any of the individual ones when we come back to that. So let's see. We can do associations now. So we're going to release every any associations connected to that whole belief system. Because with, if we don't release the associations, it won't stick. Like just pulling the beliefs out won't stick. You have, just like body code. You got to get all of the associations, clear all of that, and, and then clear the original thing you came to. So let's find them out. Now, normally, do we have any uh, trapped emotions connected to this belief system? Yeah. So normally we start with the Usually it's mostly emotion code, and then there's some might be some body code elements, some parts in that anywhere in the body code, but mostly in the energy section. Um, so associations. What are we gonna find? <laughs> is it the first trapped emotion here? Is there a trapped emotion? Is it in A? No, B. So is it odds, nuts, evens? Uh, two, four, six. Are we looking at pride, shame, shock? Okay. So we have the trapped emotion shock. All right. Is there anything we need to know about this trapped emotion of shock? Anything at all we need to know? No. So we can just clear it. Yeah. So we're going to clear these as we find them, right? Okay. So first we'll clear shock. One. I'm just going to swipe with the magnet three times. Ooh, two, <laughs> three. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God. I like to thank God, and I always like to add a little extra light afterwards. That's just my way of doing it. But really, you just need to swipe three times down the governing meridian. Have we released shock? Yes. All right, so if, if anyone's not familiar with emotion code, body code, that's watching this video, um, yeah, you have a meridian system, and they have a governing meridian. It goes from the top of your lip all the way down past your spine and sends the messages out everywhere, right? So as we swipe through that meridian, we're just releasing this energy, just letting it go. And uh, just having gratitude, imagining this is releasing and allowing that release to happen. So is there another trapped emotion? Yes, there is. Uh, something in A and B, odds, no, it's even two, B2. Is it failure, helplessness, hopelessness, lack of control? All right, trapped emotion, lack of control. Is there anything we need to know and decode around lack of control? No, we don't need to know anything. Okay, so uh, can we just release it? Yeah, okay. Let's wipe out the lack of control. <laughs> One. I've been yawning away, so yeah, yawn releasing. <laughs> okay, three of those. Ah, yep. Very good. Thank you, God. Thanks for that. I'd like to add a little extra light, so I always do it. Have we released it? Yes. Um, and you'll notice that Keiko's swiping along with me because you can do that. <laughs> you can swipe as I swipe, but it's not necessary. But we, you know, we're like energy junkies, so we just enjoy. <laughs> okay, next. Is there another trapped emotion? Yep. So this time, is it A? No, it's B. So is it on evens? Two, four, back to six. Okay. Is it pride, shame, shock, unworthy? Okay, 
anything we need to know about this unworthy trapped emotion? I think we need no, no. Okay, so uh, can we just release it? Yep, let's do it. One, Ooh. got a big shake on that. Two, Ooh. very good. <sighs> Thank you, God. Okay, release. How are you feeling? Oh, he's just like yawning away, <laughs> like yawning, burping, releasing. <laughs> just let it all go. Yep. Thank, thank you, Dr. Bradley Nelson. I know. Oh, oh, actually, <laughs> and Josh Nelson, they they created this together, probably with some other people too, wow. for this this um, belief. But it all stems from the beginning, right, Dr. Nelson? Um, all right. Is there another trapped emotion? Yep. Okay. This time to A. Yeah. So is it a uh, odd? No, even two, four, a six. Humiliation, jealousy, longing, lust, overwhelm. So now we're trapped emotion. Overwhelm. Okay, so is there anything we need to know about overwhelm? Anything at all? Oh, we need to know something about this trapped emotion. Overwhelm. Okay, so let's just ask this one. Is this inherited? All right, this is inherited. I found that most of the time, um, when I need to know something more, I, I just go right to ask if it's inherited, and that's usually what it is. Okay, so this is inherited. Um, did you inherit this on your mom's side? No. On your dad's side? Okay. Mm -hmm. Did he inherit it? Yep. Uh, mom? No. Dad? And did that dad inherit it? Yeah. From the mom? No. From the dad. So it's all dads. Okay. Oh, interesting. So more than 10 generations? Yeah. More than 20? No. Uh, more than 15, no. So is it 10, 11, 12, 13 generations on dad's side? All right. Uh, since you do have a child, um, uh, uh, I forget his name, Benji? Ken what? Kenji, Kenji. Kenji, Kenji, okay, yeah. Okay, so did Kenji inherit this? Yeah, Kenji inherited it. Okay, so at least for this trapped emotion of overwhelm, we know Kenji got, got this too, and we'll just get that overwhelm out. We don't know what it's connected to, but we just know that it says he inherited it. Okay, so we're doing 10 swipes. Uh, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you, God. I could give a little extra love in there, love and light. Um, so we release this trap, oh, this inherited trapped emotion, overwhelm. Yeah, okay. So let's release. <laughs> yeah, because, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, this is the part where we start doing this releasing. Your energy really expands. For me, I have to keep grounding. Like, I'll, I'll just, like, have to keep grounding myself in. Because if I get a little bit too... Expanded in my own energy, I could, start, I could start testing wrong. So we don't do that. Now I might just see that I'm not totally present. So you need to be present while doing the work. All right. Is there another trapped emotion? There is. Uh, A, yeah. Okay. Odds, A1. Is it abandonment? No. Betrayal, forlorn, loss, love unreceived. All right. Anything more we need to know about love and receive? No, we don't. So we can release it. Yes. Okay. okay. One, two, two. <laughs> three. Oh, yeah. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> release. Yes. Okay. Oops. Okay. Let me get some more space here. Okay, so do we have another trapped emotion? Yep, we do. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this time, is it A, B, odds? No, evens. Um, okay, so two, four, six. Back to six. Pride. We're getting pride. First one on the list. Mm. Okay, anything to know here? Anything at all? No. Uh, we can just release it. All right, so let's do that. One. Oh, this one. Two, 
Okay. So now I'm getting <clears throat> some burping and, you know. <clears throat> All right, thank you. Yes. Okay, that's release. So another trapped emotion. Well, we have another trapped emotion. <laughs> Is There's it a lot there. Okay. A odds, A evens, two, four, A six. Humiliation, jealousy, longing. Oh my God. Longing. Do we need to know anything more about this one? No. Okay, release it. Yeah. Okay. One. Ooh, nice sugar on that. Two. Three. And we released it. Yes. Okay. Another trapped emotion. Another trapped emotion. <laughs> it's an A. It's an A. Um, A odds. No evens. Two. A two. Anxiety. Despair. Disgust. Nervousness. Worry. All right. So this trapped emotion is worry. You need to know anything about worry. Anything about this trapped emotion? No. Okay. So we can release it. One. <laughs> two and three whenever I get those little shaky shivery things <laughs> it always makes me giggle okay all right so that's release okay another trapped emotion no is there something more in the body code yes okay so there's something more there's more energy but it's just not any it's not a trapped emotion any more trapped emotions no okay so we can use body code uh right side left side energy Okay, so now we're in the body code for anyone who hasn't seen body code before. It's the same thing. It's all charts and systems and finding, you know, the energies. Um, so is it something here to the right? No, to the left. Post-traumatic, offensive, not in the mental area. Uh, right side, no. Left side, a will to, no. So we have a broadcast message. <laughs> These are always interesting, too. <laughs> So broadcast messages and energy, a message you're just sending it out there. And you know, anyone who knows about energy, law of attraction, what you send out, you get back. Like the beliefs we believe, our life's going to reflect it. So this is a broadcast message of some sort. And again, we have a chart. So I'm going to ask, is the broadcast message on the chart? Yeah, because we can find one on the chart. It's on the chart. Um, you know, any statement here, it's a vibration. It's something that or similar to that. And we could also make up our own, even with even when we replace the beliefs. You could find it on the chart or you can make it your own. And sometimes you get it's not on the chart. So you have to look at the, the situation, you know, like what we're working on, the focus. And you can even test words in the focus and find out uh, how to make that belief. Sometimes it's just obvious. You just know. Okay. So this broadcast message, will we find it in A, B, C, odd? Uh, one, three, five, C five. Okay. Is it make me suffer? Nope. Make me surrender. Punish me. Reject me. Rescue me. So we got reject me. Mm. Yeah. Well, we really don't want that around, right? When you want to, <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't ever want it around, but you want to be able to help people with this, right? Uh, you know, you know, be able to do the things that you're doing and help them, help the animals. We don't want to be rejected. <laughs> okay, so reject me is connected to all of this, right? So is there anything more we need to know about this message of reject me? No, so we can just clear it. All right, let's do it. One, two, okay, three. All right. It's just something I do adding like because I've done so many other modalities and I always like Whenever I'm taking energy out, I just like to put more energy, you know, good energy back in, love. You could also sometimes put a, a different message in, but I don't think we need to because we're going to be replacing those limiting beliefs. And we're just releasing it, adding the love. We're good to go. Let's see if there's another thing. Is there something else we can, anything, any other associations we need to find here for this um, belief system? No. All right. So, so we got all the associations, right? So. That's nice. We can go back to the belief code. Oh, wait. Did I just release or reject me? I didn't write it down. <laughs> yeah, I think we did, didn't we? Yeah, we did. <laughs> no, we like, did. no, I don't no, know. No, we did. I just tested it. Yeah. Okay. You know what? 
just just let's just do some extra that's all yeah just, okay. for some reason i didn't write it down so i'm just going to take that let's just swipe a little bit more okay good so that's release i don't like to leave any questions even though i tested that i did it but you know <laughs> okay uh, i didn't write here parallel uh, if i could spell it okay so now we're back up to these the, the beliefs, right? So what we're going to do is, so I'm just going to test each one. It'll be strong if it's true and it, to make sure that these are correct and we have these and these are all good. So um, you need you need to be right. Yes. Uh, is there anything we need, anything more we need to know about that? No. Okay. How about uh, I need to give myself up? Yeah, it's true. It's true. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Get rid of it later. <laughs> yeah. uh, anything more we need to know about that? No. Uh, anything more we need to know about well, let's just see. Is it true? You're invisible. Yeah. Anything more we need to know about that one? No. Uh, you're not trustworthy because your energy levels are not consistent. Okay. Uh, anything more to know there? No. How about you don't trust people? Okay. <clears throat> anything more to know there? No. Uh, you can't let other people be as they are. True. Anything else that we need to know about that? No. Um, how about if you speak up, you'll be judged and punished. Is that true? Yeah. So uh, anything else we need to know there? No. Okay. How about you don't trust that God will let you have well? It's true. Uh, anything else to know there? No. Uh, it is an acceptable. It is not acceptable for you to make mistakes. Okay. Anything more to know there? No. Okay. So that means we can, if they need to be replaced, we can just go ahead and do it. We know everything we need to know about those. So then I'm going to ask. So I'll just explain to either. I'm going to um, replace. So we need to fill the gap here, right? We need to fill the gap. We got to pull. I'm going to be pulling things. Well, let's pull them all out first. Don't. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's pull everything out, and then we'll see what we need to do after that. Because we may need to replace beliefs, or we may need to do just like filling in the gap, like defragging the computer. And I'll explain that when we get to that. And in fact, I like to do that no matter what, even if I test, I don't need to because we already put some beliefs in to replace old ones. It just feels good to me. And so I think at least what I've been told by my guides is, you know, find your own way and keep it simple. So that's just what I like to do. All right. So let's start pulling the beliefs. I'm going to go like one by, one after the other, Keiko. I'm just going to keep okay. doing them and I'll just test them right after I did it. But I'm just going to, I'm just going to continually go. Through. So you can just keep swiping, you know, be in your energy space, whatever you want to do. So we're now asking, and, and I like to, and I and I talk when I do this, or maybe other people don't, right? This is just my way of doing it. I just want you guys to know that. So right now we're pulling the belief, I need to be right. So I'm just asking to pull that up, send it to the light, let it dissolve in that light, just releasing it forevermore, letting it go. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. And did we release that one? Yes. Okay, so now we're releasing, I need to give myself up. Sending that to the light, right? Giving it to God, letting it go, releasing it from your whole system so you can easily move forward. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God. Is that released? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Now let's release I'm invisible. Again, pulling it up, sending it out, dissolving it, <laughs> letting it go. Never to return. Okay, good. Have we released that one? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Um. I am not trustworthy because my energy levels are not consistent. So we're just pulling that belief. We're going to release it from you, send it to the light, let it dissolve in that light. Mm. All right, good. All right, feels good. Release, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, that was my energy levels not consistent. Okay, now, I don't trust people. So we're going to release that. I don't trust people. Pulling that belief. Letting it go. Ooh, felt something in my heart on that one. Okay, good. Thank you. Is that release? Yes. Okay, good. Now, I can't let other people be as they are. They were lifting that belief out. Again, sending it to the light, giving it to God, letting it go, releasing it forevermore. <sighs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is that release? Yes. Okay, thank you. And now, uh, if I speak up, I'll be judged and punished. Ooh, okay. I got a lot of release on that one there. You've given that to the light, given it to God. Thank you, thank you, thank you for taking that away. And do we release that one? Yes. Okay, so now I don't trust that God would let me have wealth. 
All right, lifting that out, sending it to the light, letting it go. Oh, yeah, let go. Very good. Thank you. Release. Thank you, God. Um, and now it isn't acceptable for me to make mistakes. All right. That really early on belief, we're lifting it, sending it to the light, letting it go, giving it to God, releasing it from your system. Have yeah, I released that? Yes. Okay, good. Ooh, how you feel? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> That's good. All good stuff to release. Yeah. In fact, I got to drink a little bit here and try to make sure I ground myself and pull myself back in. So I'm just going to go through them. I told you about the grounding technique. A friend of mine taught me like a mudra where you the head and you put them here. Oh, my God. It's like a lifesaver for me while I do this work. Yeah, fully grounded, present in the moment, ready to go. All right, so let's just ask them now. Uh, if it's if it's strong, then maybe because I got lost in the energy, I missed it and we'll have to do it again. <laughs> but usually they're always, I haven't had that happen so far, thank God, um, because I don't take the time. For me, I have to keep my notes so I keep track of where I am, especially like in body coach. Sometimes things get like, you know, all these deep levels. But when I'm doing this, I like to do the whole thing. I'm not even writing release. So sometimes I don't know what, you know, I could lose track if I'm my energy is too expanded. So it could happen. All right. So here we go. Is it you need to be right? No. Uh, you need to give yourself up. No. You're invisible. No. Uh, you're not trustworthy because your energy levels are not consistent. Uh, you don't trust people. You can't let other people be as they are. No. Uh, if you speak up, you'll be judged and punished. No, uh, you don't trust that God would let you have wealth. Okay. And uh, it isn't acceptable for you to make mistakes. Okay. So we got them all. They're all released. So great. We, we plucked it out, all of its associations, all of that stuff. But now there's going to be a, a gap because if you picture like a bookshelf, right? With all, and I'm saying this, I know you already know this, Keiko, but for people watching first time, you could think of it as like a bookshelf, all these books all there, and you're pulling out these beliefs, right? And it's leaving all these spaces and gaps and everything's all messy and disheveled. And so we want to clean that out, right? So you're either going to be putting new beliefs in, or sometimes you don't have to put any beliefs in, but you need to kind of like defragging the computer. You need to organize it. You need to move the books over, make nice new room on the shelf, right? For new stuff to come in. It's basically what we'll be doing. So let's just ask. Are there any beliefs here that need to be replaced? Any beliefs here need to be replaced? Okay, yeah. So I'm going to start with negative programs. Are there any beliefs in the negative programs that need a replacement? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Is it, I need to, do we need to replace, I need to be right? No. Do we need to replace, I need to give myself up? Uh-uh. Do we need to replace, I'm invisible? Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to replace that one. We'll start right with that. Let's find it. Mm. Well, let's ask, is is the replacement here on the chart? So we'll, yeah, we'll look for one on the chart. Something on the right? No, on the left, uh, divine. Okay. I'll just write that. And is it here to the right side? Right side, not left side. Faith, God, purpose, God. Okay. It's in the divine God area. Okay, now we go to positive statements. So there's four sections. Is it section one, two, three, four? Okay. And don't look at them. Okay, go I will, I will. <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm going to go one to 11. I, I mix it up. I do odds, evens, or just go down the list. <clears throat> I keep myself sharp that way. So what are you looking at? We have 11. Is it, is it a replacement? Is it number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven? We got number 11. I obtain wealth according to what I do. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> I, oh, oops, I obtain wealth. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> according to what I do. That's perfect. Okay, let's mm -hmm. download that. So now <clears throat> we're just going to swipe in the governing meridian. We're going to download that energy, right? We're just asking you know, God, the higher power, whatever you might want to call that energy to download into. And, and I like to say it a certain way, just because it's the way I've done it before. Right. 
So um, what is it? I obtain wealth according to what I do. We're downloading that into every single cell of your body in the highest and best way for you throughout all time, space, realities, all planes of existence, all dimensions. Just really soaking that in, making this be a new way of being for you. Ah, okay, feels good. Okay. So did we download that? Yes, yeah, so we're going to ask the question. Um, so Keiko, is this true for you, that you obtain wealth according to what you do? Yeah, it is. Yay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> okay. So let's ask for this other one, this other negative program. Do we need to replace? I am not trustworthy because my energy levels are not consistent. No, we don't need to replace it. We got rid of that. We don't need to replace it. Now, are there any limiting beliefs that need to be replaced? Yeah. Uh, do we need to replace? I don't trust people. No. We need to replace. Uh, I can't let other people be as they are. That one. Okay. Maybe we got to do the other one too, but I'm just going to do them one at a time. Placed with. And let me just make that bold there. Okay. All right. So here we are. We're replacing with what? What are you going to replace? Is the replacement here on the chart? Yeah. So replacing, I can't let other people be as they are. Is it here to the right? No, to the left. Divine communication power. Okay. We're looking in power. And on the right side, is it change, effort, growth, strength? Okay, what are we going to find here? Positive statements. Uh, will we find this in an odd one, an even one? Two, four, six. Section six, okay. I'm going to go down the list this way. Are we replacing it with number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? I am strong and stable. Hey, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> that because, hits on the energy too. Yeah. That other one with not having mm -hmm. enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we can download this one. Yeah. Let's do it. I am strong and stable. Downloading this new belief into every cell of your body in the highest and best way for you throughout all time, space, realities all planes of existence, all dimensions, just really soaking this in, having this be your new way of being. Thank you, God. thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh, did we get that? Yes, this is downloaded. So uh, is it true for, for Keiko that she is strong and stable? Yes, it is. All right, great. Now, we need to do this other one. Um, is it necessary to replace? If I speak up, I'll be judged and punished. No, we don't need to replace it. Okay, let's make that bold. So now, let's see about the faulty core belief. Mm. Um, do we need to replace, I don't trust that God would let me have wealth. Yeah. It feels like we just replaced it. We're going to add to it, right? Yes. <laughs> that last one spoke to this too. Okay, tab. Okay, replace with. Yeah, I don't trust that God would let me have wealth. Where is the replacement on the charts? Yeah. So is it on the right? No, on the left. Is it divine communication power? Okay. Right side, left side, right side. Change, effort, growth, strength. All right. So we have uh, power, strength. Oops. I didn't look at it. My little G code there. Still wrong. <laughs> okay. So we're in power, strength. Um, but that last one was power strength. Mm -hmm. Okay, so positive statements. Um, will we find it on the charts here? Is this best to do it that way? Yeah. Okay, so is it is it one, two, three, four, five? Section five, six, and seven. No, five. Okay, and it's only eight of those. Uh, well, is it number one, two, three, four, five? Okay, six, seven, eight, five. I have the power I need to make a change. Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, this is the correct statement we should have here. Yeah. Okay. So let's download that. 
that you have the power, right, to uh, that you need to make the change. Yeah. So we're just downloading that into every cell, everybody. Highest and best fit for you for all time, space, realities, all planes of existence, all dimensions, right? All timelines, everything. All right, good. That feels good. All right. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Put that download. Okay, so is that true for Keiko? You have the power you need to make change. Yep. All right, good. So we replace all of that, right? So we can ask, do we need to do it? Do we need to defrag? No, because we replace beliefs. So where we took all that stuff out, we put stuff in. So everything's really good to go. But you know what? I just want to do it just for the fun of it, right? Because it feels good to me. Would you like to do that? <laughs> yes, yes. And so the faulty core identity, that one did need to be replaced, the last one. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I didn't ask that one. Thank you, Keiko. See, good. this is a good thing for the notes here, right? So you can, yeah. Okay, let me just go to myself. <laughs> it's a it's a lot. There's a lot going on here. Yeah, and, it's, and there's actually two more sections to this too. All right, so. Let's ask now, um, is it necessary to replace this faulty core identity that it is an acceptable, it is not acceptable for you to make mistakes? Yes. All right, good. Let's replace that. I really like replacing these core things, right? The, these bottom two, that, to me, it feels mm -hmm. like. Okay, so that's replaced with. Uh, will we find this on the charts here? Yeah. Okay, so will we find it here to the left? Okay, uh, divine, yes. So we're divine and uh, on the right, on the right, no, it's on the left. Faith, God, purpose, divine and purpose. All right, so positive statements. We need, is this, will we find this on the chart here first? Yeah, okay, so is it in section one to section three? Got ten of those. Uh, is it number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? Mm -hmm. I can be in a blank. <laughs> what can I you can do? be. Oh boy, this is fun. Okay, let's see. I can be because well, we know we know the whole thing that you're talking about here that you want to do. Uh huh. Yeah. So. You have that in your focus, right? Because oh, okay. Actually, it's I can be perfectly imperfect. Ah, that's what came in. I can okay. be perfectly imperfect. Okay, we're doing it because I trust you. <laughs> well, you know. th did you check? I, I mean, we should check and make sure it's fully aligned. Maybe there could be more. So, okay, but but I but I know feels, you. Yeah, I know I it feels good. I can be perfectly imperfect. That that that's feels it. really safe and it gives me room to make mistakes without feeling like I'm making mistakes uh, yeah that's resonating big especially with <laughs> the experience as, the, as a child right so is it the right replacement for it isn't except it isn't acceptable for me to make mistakes is this it? yeah of course all right so let's download it I can be perfectly imperfect downloading that to every single cell of your body Always in the highest and best way for you throughout all timelines, all time, space, reality, all planes of existence, all dimensions. All right. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God. Did we get that? Yes. So, yes. Like, ah, that you, can be, you can be perfectly imperfect. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Good. So, you know what? I think then um, what we'll do is we'll, we'll end the recording because I think it's a pretty good idea. For people as how it works and maybe you can just say a little bit about how you felt through the process it's really thorough and i think sometimes you know i i think that limiting belief part was really interesting because at first i was like oh that's interesting oh huh, that's interesting and then when the third one came in with the if i speak up i'll be judged and punished then it was like oh my gosh like the experience popped in my head and i'm like oh i know exactly what this is coming to so like it like the first one I, I was kind of like okay I'm sure that can happen throughout life but as we went through that like the third one was the one that triggered the memory and I'm like 
oh wow okay now everything really like makes sense so I think it's nice to just like even if it doesn't feel like you're like wait I'm not sure how that fits in to just kind of wait and see what else comes up because then th there's a moment where like you'll be triggered a memory or something like that so I think um I can see how like easily, you know, how like we can get a little like, oh my gosh, that's not me. You know, <laughs> it's so easy to go there. I think if we do that, we may block that really important insight that comes in. So I think it's like, hmm, okay, let's see what spirits got in store and what they're trying to reveal to me. If you have yeah. that attitude, I think it's a lot easier for that download to come in where you're like, uh. Oh, uh, because that was a big thing. I do remember it's a pretty traumatic experience. And to be able to release it for me to move forward, you know, that's really important. So yeah, yeah really, yeah. really mm -hmm. interesting and um really, you know, on target in terms of everything that's coming through. Um and a lot of things, you know, I was aware of even on a conscious level that I thought a certain way. Like sometimes, you know the the amazing thing with body code and belief code is it can get things that you're just like totally not aware of yet it's kind of operating at this level where um you know you're like oh really was i operating there um but like everything today felt like okay yes that i do recognize even on a certain awareness level and yeah. then like the part that wasn't clear to me on an awareness level when I waited, the information came in to bring it to my awareness. And I'm like, oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. I do remember now. <laughs> so it's really well, brilliant. Because you're, you know, because you were very open to, well, I guess, you know, it must be something there. It must be there. There must be a purpose to it and somehow. But then then the pieces start to fall in and make sense. But it's true like that for, for everything to do with emotion code, body code. Uh, and, and a lot of, what I find is a lot of people will think of what's happening in their current reality. Mm -hmm. You know, like you might be 50 years old and you're forgetting all the stuff that happened when you were younger, right? That built that builds into all of this. So yeah, it's not it's not something you can. I mean, this it did make sense, but sometimes it's not always going to make sense because we're it's not something logical that we can look mm -hmm. at. It's all energy. It's all how you absorb these things and made these decisions out of particular experience mm -hmm. um so yeah it could you know sometimes it'll be kind of strange but i do find that most people especially with the belief code um find it makes it it, it makes sense to them mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 100 percent, 100 percent. all right well thank you uh, keiko thank you for letting me um record this part of the session we'll continue with the rest of it but um that that was awesome. <laughs> oh, I know. Thank you. It was awesome. I mean, this is going to be great. <laughs> this is going to be great. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, yeah. So goodbye, everybody who is watching. And uh, stay tuned because I'll probably put more of this kind of stuff out there for you to kind of learn and understand how um, body belief code, body code, motion code, how they all work and how they all work together. It's pretty amazing. Um, all right. So see you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>